Hello and welcome back to Flip FIFA. The transfer window is open. It is January and some massive games coming up in this one. We've got the semi-final uh, two legs uh, of the Capital One Cup and that is against Leicester City. Uh, they're down in 15th, so they're doing pretty well in that competition. Now, I didn't really know how to structure this episode, so what I'm going to do is at the start, uh, you're going to get the entire transfer window. Then you'll get a highlights package and then two games. So the transfers may come in. You may see some of those players coming into the side. It, it was just too hard to keep the highlights rolling and, and keep play with, with trying to get a full month out. And, and it may just be highlights all the way through. I'm not too sure. I'll see how we go. See how many transfers they are and how long the episode is. I don't want some 30, 40 minute episode. That'll just be ridiculous. But let's just get into this. There may be some transfers. Got a little bit of cash to play with. Maybe about 700 grand in the kitty. Uh, so can't really go after any marquee players, but I think the big story will be if we do sell uh, the goalkeeper in Watmore. That will free up a lot of cash and uh, may bring some acquisition into this side. Let's get into it. Uh, transfer window action will come up first, and then I'll decide on a highlights package for... There's about six or seven games, maybe a live one at the end. I'll, just, I'll work it out as I go through. We'll just wing it. Let's get into it. Well, we've got a transfer offer here for John Taylor, and there's no way he is leaving the club. Reject all offers. Well, we've got a transfer offer from Newcastle United for Andre Watmore. Uh, we're not le going to let him go without a lot of money coming in. So uh, I'm going to put six million on the table here for Watmore and see what they come back with. Right, Newcastle United have come back with 4.3 million. Uh, I'm going to say no, it's got to be six or he cannot leave. Oh, we've got a transfer offer here for Jermaine Anderson. Now, I don't feel he is ready to leave the club. You know, I want to keep some of these Peterborough lads around. He's doing a pretty serviceable job there in the reserves team. So we're going to go ahead and uh, 2 million, and you can have him. Other than that, I want to keep him. Newcastle aren't budging on the 4.3, so we're going to reject that offer. We've got a transfer offer here for Jack Friend. Now, he's done nothing for us. He doesn't get a game. He's too low. I'm happy to ship him out. 70 grand. Let's see if we can bump them up to 90. I know Drogano won't have a lot of cash, but... See what we can do. All right, they said that's too much for Jermaine Anderson. No worries. And Jogger, don't believe he's worth 90 grand as well, you cheap bastards. Got a transfer offer here for Sean Brisley from AFC Wimbledon, and they're offering way under his evaluation. He's unhappy he's not really getting the game time because he's playing in the reserves team. Um, I don't really want to get rid of him, but if they want to pay a million, they can have him. Right, time for some highlights. The transfers have been done and dusted. We're at the Abac Stadium taking on Hull City, and we've been in some incredible form of late. In the ninth minute, it was Madison trying to slip inside. He slipped it across to Pestron, who got railed from behind, and a stupid penalty given away. John O'Taylor would head to the spot for another goal for the season. He wasn't going to let this one go down dying, and he smashes it home. It's 1-0 to Peterborough United. Late in the game, 87th minute, we defended pretty much for the entire game. Again, Ozzy broke the lines, fed it off, and it was Taylor again. He got two for the game, and it would finish 2-0. Whole City only with six shots for the game. We played incredibly well. The next game, we went to the Vitality Stadium, and we're looking for a little bit of redemption here against Bournemouth, the first team to beat us in the league this season. And early on, N. Clay fed one through, Billy Knott shot one off to Coolthurst, and he just turned on it and absolutely delivered one to the top left corner. Hello, Bournemouth. We have arrived here, and the justice will be served. N. Clay to Billy Knott, and look at this shot from Coolthurst. He just turned on it, took his opportunity, and with Gonzalez out injured, he did the biscuits. Forrester in the 29th got into the box, fiddled around with it, and then just got punched basically in the kidneys. Went down quicker than a $2 hooker. We had the penalty opportunity. And John O'Taylor, well, you know, he loves one from the spot. He loves a goal anywhere. And he went top left again and gets himself another goal for the season. In the 67th minute, though, Bournemouth worked their way back into the game. Phoebe found uh, it was Wilson, a good shot. And, uh, well, there was no stopping that from Watmore. So they got one back in the 68th. We just shut up shop, defended and uh, took the three points at the Vitality Stadium. The next game was the first leg of the Capital One Cup semi-final against Leicester City. We had them at home at the Abax Stadium, and we defended 
for a nil all draw. Pretty boring one, that one. Finally, we went to Huddersfield. Well, we hosted Huddersfield, should I say, and we smashed them in the last game. So I sent the reserves team out. Guerra in the 19th minute, pushed inside, got wrecked by two men at once, which is never a pleasant feeling. Uh, the penalty went and Pestron took it, smashed it home to make it 1-0 to Peterborough. Uh, but then late in the game, 82nd minute, they had an incredible cross into the box. Zakawani off his chest plate, actually. It was credited to the striker, but it did come off Zakawani. And we ended up having a one-all draw. But that's going to end the highlights package. Let's get into the real stuff. All right, here we go. Some live action for you. It is the second leg of the Capital One Cup semi-final. It was a nil-all draw, obviously, in the first leg. So uh, whoever gets the points in this one goes through to the final. And I'm actually really wanting to get through to the final. We won the Johnson's Paint Trophy in Season 1. Be nice to take the Capital One Cup in Season 2. Tottenham beat Northampton 6-0, so they're definitely through to the final. So that's who will be playing Spurs if we can get past Leicester City here today. Uh, a big game, a chance to get through to the final and maybe have a chance at getting some more silverware for Peterborough United. Mahrez, well, you know he's got pace out on that wing and he will definitely be an issue for us today. But we've, we've encountered Leicester City a couple of times already and we've kicked them to the curb. So let's see if we can do that again today. Uh, no transfers so far uh, into the club. So uh, we're just sending out the lads that have been doing the job all season. I'm pretty reluctant to make any transfers unless something big comes along. Let's get into this one. See if we can make that Capital One Cup final. Oh, Christo straight over the top, sees the run. Madison, can he hold up the play? He can. He's still going, Madison. Oh, it's a poor pass inside. They go back to Schwarzer. Well, we've given away a bloody free kick in a pretty good area for them. You know they're going to have a red-hot crack at it. And, oh, Watmore actually makes the save. He's done very well there, Watmore. I'm reluctant to sell him because he does do a pretty serviceable job for us. But if the money does come in, I will let him go. Here's John O'Taylor using that pace out on the wing. He's going to try for the cross. He does. Oh, Gonzalez, what were you trying there? Madison did well. Oh, picked off by Gray. It's another free kick for Leicester. We sit Smith back on the line. They feed it off. Here's the shot. Good block from Forrester. Falls to Fouche. Good punch from Watmore. We need to clear this out. Baldwin does well. Come on, lads. We are under siege at the moment. This is a tough pressure match. Forrester slips one down the line. It's John O'Taylor working his way into some space. John O'Taylor. John O'Taylor. Oh, he's offside. Far out. Oh, we did everything to get a shot off properly. Two attempts. The ball falls to Christo. He pops it in the net, but he was offside. Oh, disgusting. Oh, Billy not. Oh, ref, don't blow the whistle. Half time, nil all. Looking for someone to help him out. John O'Taylor. John O'Taylor straight at Swartzer. Here's Christo working his way into the box. Christo sweats it across. Get here, John O'Taylor. 1 0 Peterborough United. That's the goal we needed. It's an away goal for Peterborough United. Christo worked his way past the defence. Seeing John O'Taylor sprinting down the left side, sweated across like a gypsy with a mortgage. And John O'Taylor slots at home. Well, he has been the star of the season, scoring everything that you put in front of him, pretty much. We take the lead 1 0 and have just about booked ourselves a spot in the Capital One Cup final. Holds the play up nicely. He's still going. Slots it inside. Forrester has a ping from distance. Schwarzer with a save. We've got a corner. There it is, full time. We're going through to the Capital One Cup final. The one goal was enough. We'll fucking see you there, Spurs. So Leicester with eight shots, us with seven. We played our bloody hearts out. Reese Oxford was absolutely amazing at the back with a 7.3. All right, another live game for you here. And it's Peterborough hosting Stoke City back at the Abax Stadium. And it is the last day of January here. The, the transfer window will shut after this game. So no real acquisitions for us. We haven't really been looking at anything in the market. Uh, nothing sort of tickled my fancy with the money that we do have. We're sitting top of the table by 10 points. And uh, let's just see if we can continue this roll on. Free kick for Stoke City. What are they going to do with this one? A long run up and he belts it in towards the box. Baldwin is there. Loftus cheek. Blocked it with his cheeks. 
Corner for Stoke. They're trying to be aggressive here early. We're not going to let them. We're the best defensive league team in the fucking t in the fucking world. And here's Madison. Madison slips one down the line. Here's John Taylor. Cuts back inside nicely. Still John Taylor. Still John Taylor. Oh, what a save from Butland. That was incredible. An absolute bullet. And he manages to save it. Uh-oh, here we go. This is where teams get us on pace, on the break. Oh, he's choked it like a chicken. You idiot. Oh, Madison did well. Turned his man inside out and he takes off. Oh, wrecked. That is wrecked. Oh, it's inside the box as well. Penalty you, dickhead. All right, John Taylor from the spot. Just to add to his tally, can he put this one in past Butland? We're going top left, Biscuits. And thanks very much for coming. John Taylor. This man is having like one incredible season. I'm surprised all the big clubs in the world aren't coming for him. We had one offer. It was from a small club. And we decided, nah, mate. You're staying here, son. Half time, it's 1-0. Oh, great ball from Loftus-Cheek. Billy Knott slots it inside. Christo, bang, 2-0. Oh, that was so well thought out there. Billy Knott can pick out a fucking piece of salt and a bag of sugar. Look at this. Loftus-Cheek, Billy Knott just sees Christo out of the corner of his eye. And Christo smashes it home. It's 2-0 here. And Peter Burrow still flying. Madison from 21. Let's try something different here. Oh my god, what an absolute bullet. No one was stopping that from Madison. What a fucking strike. Thank you very much for coming, Stoke City. You may as well get back on the bus and fuck off home. Absolute, this is going to be a brilliant angle of it. Straight through, off the wall, off the keeper, into the net. Fuck you, Stoke City. Oh, ricochet, bang, bang, the pinball master. Fucking Madison. Oh, mate, did that hit you on the nuts through the way? Fucking Butlin. Who cares? It's 3-0. Get in. Up the posh. Oh, Forrester. Slips it through. Christo for four. 4-0 four Peterborough. Come on. Get in. Posh. Get in! Yes, lad! Butland's having a howler. It's 4 0 Peterborough. Oh, you should have got on the bus after the last goal. Oh, what have they done? Christo. They just let him have one again. Oh, skips around. We've got everything happening here. He tries hard. He gets picked off. Forrester inside. Christo slips it off. Billy Knott! <laughs> Loftus cheek has a ping up. Oh, Forrester wore it in the face. Here's Billy Not though. Come on, Billy. You're just about dead, but we're playing you out. No substitutions today. Come on. Yes. Be angry. Corner for Stoke. Everyone's spent. We've made no changes. We are 4 0 up. And this is something special. We just want to protect the clean sheet. We do there. Here we go again. Here's the shot. And it's wide. Here's Forrester. We're into the dying stages of this one. Passes inside. It's Taylor. It's John O'Taylor. Get in! Five! Da -da 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 we love it when Stoke choke! Love it when Stoke choke! Da -da 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 Five nil! Fucking get in! <laughs> this is insane! And John O'Taylor. Oh mate, get him in your sides. That is delicious. Butland's having a fucking shit day. Be lucky if he's not shot at the end. Take it out the back like a horse with a broken leg. And it's five fucking nil. Get hit. There it is. Game over. Go and cry somewhere, Stoke. See you later. 13 shots to five. Loftus cheap with an 8.8 .8 and a five nil smashing. Right, the transfer window is shut. Why change the team when we're winning games like that? It's the 1st of Feb. Let's have a quick look at the youth squad before we wrap things up. Al Habash, 75 to 83. We're going to release you. Uh, Harbe, 59 overall, 80 to 86. We're going to offer a contract. Tabushi, 80 to 86. Can sit there. Alex Horton, 66 to 86. Ian Douglas, 63 to 83. Release. Ismail Barrios, 52 overall, 80 to 90. 
Josh Fuller, 67 overall, 83 to 89. We didn't sell Watmore, so I'm going to let these keepers grow here in the Youth Academy. Uh, Sitala, 82 to 88. Barragar, 81 to 87. Gallardo is 77 to 85. And Stuart Jones is 61 to 87. You may notice uh, someone's missing. Ramos. Ramos was gone. He just cancelled his contract. Fuck knows why. Fuck him. But that's the Youth Academy. Right, so top of the table, 10 points. Why do you even need to buy anyone? We'll save that money and uh, we'll use it in the next season because I can guarantee you right now we're going up. We are going up and uh, we are knocking on the door of just punishing teams, punishing teams. And this team is absolutely firing. I can't see, unless there's some horrendous injury probably to Jono Taylor. Um, we are going up and we may even win the league. But that's where we're going to leave it. Hopefully you're enjoying this one. Thanks very much for watching this episode, and I will see you next time. Hit that like button for me, and you have a good one. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Bang, we're out of here. He's a forward Taylor. Off Nida Lishner. Get in! Yes, by Munich! And it's Nida Lishner scoring. Well, we thought that one through.